Namaste. I'm Natita Gassel. I'm a licensed psychotherapist, trauma-focused yoga teacher, trauma-focused yoga teacher trainer, and the owner of Mind Body Psychotherapy based in Austin, Texas. So this video falls in a category of videos that I call Yoga University because we'll be getting super intellectual in this video. Um, instead of practicing yoga, we'll be using our left brains to talk about the scientific research that supports yoga as a beneficial health practice for optimal mental and physical health. So if you're a science and yoga nerd like I am, I invite you to keep watching. So if you've practiced yoga or any type of deep breathing, then you might have first-hand experience with the benefits of such a practice. Many people report having a calmer mind, feeling more relaxed in their body, um, increased ability to manage stress, um, increased ability to live in the present moment and letting go of the past with greater ease. And people who practice regularly often report improved sleep, um, more mental clarity, improved concentration and focus. There are many benefits people report. And so that is enough to get people practicing yoga and deep breathing regularly. However, in case you wanna know the science behind it all, here we are today for that. So today I'm gonna to focus on something called the vagus nerve, the vagus nerve. So we have 12 cranial nerves in our bodies and the vagus nerve is the longest one. It originates at the brain stem, so the bottom back portion of the brain, and connects down in the gut. So it communicates in information between and connects several organs that are instrumental to our functioning, including the heart, lungs, stomach, and intestines. So it relates to um, not only our nervous system, but also our respiration and respiratory system, our circulatory system, and our digestive system. The vagus nerve is literally the mind-body connection, or as some people call it, the brain-gut connection. And so the vagus nerve is also part of the parasympathetic nervous system. For optimal health, we want to have parasympathetic nervous system dominance. Most people, however, have sympathetic nervous system dominance because we live in a very fast-paced and high-stress world. So sympathetic nervous system is fight or flight, Ang anxious, anxiety, central, um, high stress, lots of adrenaline, cortisol levels are up, and it just like frazzled all over the place. Most people live in that type of nervous system response. It's not a healthy place to be. If you're there chronically, you develop all types of physical and emotional health issues. And we'll cover what some of those are um, in just a little bit. So when people have what's called good vagal tone, that means that they are in parasympathetic nervous system dominance, and they're able to get themselves from an excited state to a relaxed state. Parasympathetic nervous system is rest and digest. And we need to be in parasympathetic nervous system response to sleep well, to digest our food well, and to recover from injury and heal from illness. So sympathetic nervous system, fight or flight, high anxiety, parasympathetic nervous system, rest and digest, relaxation, vagus nerve is part of parasympathetic nervous system. To have good vagal tone, that means we have parasympathetic nervous system dominance. So before I tell you what you can do to increase your vagal tone, let me just tell you some of the um, physical and mental health presentations that come up when there is not good vagal tone. So 
So if you have or, or suffer from heart disease, hypertension, high blood pressure, um, diabetes, difficulty breathing, uh, difficulty sleeping, anxiety, depression, trauma reactions and post-traumatic stress disorder, and the list goes on, you probably don't have your optimal vagal tone and are in sympathetic nervous system dominance. Um, other things that can happen is that the vagus nerve is part of our social engagement system. It's what helps us know that others are attuned to us and we can count on others to help us meet our emotional and survival needs. So acts of discrimination and racism and abuse and criticism and shame impact the vagus nerve at the social engagement system level. And then also don't allow us to have optimal vagal tone. Okay, again, the benefit of having an optimal vagal tone is that you will be at your optimal health mentally and physically and able to get yourself from an excited state to a relaxed state with ease. So how does yoga fit into this picture? Yoga helps increase vagus t uh, vagal tone. The deep breathing, which we call pranayama in yoga, helps us to get from sympathetic or baseline to parasympathetic response. Taking deep inhales and exhales and oxygenating the body in that way calms, literally it cradles and soothes the nervous system. Focusing on an even longer exhalation just enhances that and helps us get to parasympathetic nervous system response all the more quickly. And so there's a number of breathing videos on this channel, as well as yoga sequencing that all have a focus on the breath. Adopting a breathing practice, step one, and maybe a yoga practice, step two, is one way to just vastly improve your vagal tone and get yourself working and living in, working toward and living in optimal um, vagal tone and health and wholeness. Let's see. I think I want to leave it at that for now. That could have been a lot to swallow or maybe it wasn't. I don't know. But let's leave it at that. Um, that is how yoga relates to the vagus nerve and the science behind why it's beneficial. I'll have another video coming up that will talk a little bit about heart rate variability, which is another indicator of optimal health. And yoga also helps with heart rate variability. So get breathing, get practicing yoga. You're doing yourself such a service. And then by way of that, doing a service to those who you love. I thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you liked it, please give me a virtual namaste by hitting the thumbs up button, subscribing, and sharing with those you love. Thank you so much for being here. The light within me bows to and salutes that same light that shines within you. Namaste.